charge the people tithes and offerings to pay your bills, to buy your cars, so that you can wear Gucci shirts. Right. That's the problem with y'all. That's the problem with a lot of people professing themselves to be Christians. The word Christians means follower of Christ. Second Peter chapter two verse twenty says that Christ was our example. Right. That Christ break the commandments of God. Did Christ say that nobody can keep the commandments of God? No, Christ did not. Christ said you better keep the commandments of God. Read that again. The book of Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Come on. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priest's lips, your pastor's lips, are supposed to be keeping knowledge. Read. Right. And they should seek the law right. at his mouth. Though his lips should seek knowledge, the pastor's lips should seek knowledge, the people, the congregation is supposed to be looking for the law for him to speak. The law. If your pastor is not teaching you the law, that is no pastor of God. He is scattering the flock of God. Right, right. Jeremiah chapter 23. Right. There is a hefty price for anybody who is lying to God's people. You brothers and sisters are precious in the sight of God. That's right. You are precious in the sight of Christ. You are precious. So he says for his people to be taught his laws. Just like you would teach your children your laws, your rules. Right. And you would that they abide by your laws, your rules. Why are you not learning God's laws? Why are your pastors not teaching you God's laws? Because he continued to scatter. If you know God's laws, you would know you're not supposed to be paying tithes and offerings to no man. That's right. You would know that. You would know that every man got to work and eat and provide for his family himself. Right, right. Not by the hand of God's people. Right. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 1. Right. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. And though you all together in one building, what the Bible is saying as scattered is you take, it, you take all the people away from Christ, away from God, when you don't teach them the laws that's of God. Right, that's right. When you tell them that God still loves them even in their sin, you scatter the people of God. Right. Those are lies. You, that's why there's no Bible during the entire sermon. Right. That's why. Those are lies. We have a Bible. Show them your Bible. We have a regular Bible just like with all y'all clutching in your hand. We got a Bible too. Right. Open it with us and see if we lying. Right. Open it with us and see if we not showing you verse per verse telling you you have been lied to. Right. You are being lied to and then charged money, your last dollars for those lies. Right. That's what's happening in these Christian churches. The day of the Negro and slave mind is done. It's right. over. Right. It's over. That's give me John 8 and 32. Yep. This is what Christ was talking about. This is what Christ was talking about. If you would be taught the real gospel of Christ, you shall be free in your spirit and mind. If you will. Come on. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. Who's yeah. speaking? Our Lord is speaking here. Read. Right. And ye shall know the truth. And ye shall know the truth. Not somebody's opinion. Not somebody's sermon. What the Bible say. That's the truth of God. Ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And that truth, once you accept it, once you receive it, that will make you free. We were all raised up in the Christian church. Right. All, every single one of us. And then one day we got old enough and somebody said, yo, you've been lied to. And then we opened the Bible for ourselves, and sure enough, we have been lied to. We have been lied to. Every Sunday we go to worship God. Go back to Jeremiah 44. Go back. Let's find out what's wrong with this Sunday worship thing. Read 23 on down again. Watch this. Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 1. Read. Woe be unto the pastors. Destruction be unto the pastors. Come on. That destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. They David. destroy you not teaching you the laws of God. That's right. So then now God has to judge you because you don't know you're in sin. Right. Destruction to the pastors that scatter the flock of God. Right. Destruction to you. Read. Save the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. You're supposed to be feeding the flock of God, not charging them for lies. Not walking around telling them a feel-good sermon. Right. Being a motivational speaker. No. Teach your people the truth of God. Right. Teach your people to stop sinning. Right. Come on. 
Ye have scattered my flock Come on. and driven them away. Come on. And have not visited them. Come on. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, save the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries. So the Bible says Christ is going to gather you. Some of y'all walking away, but you hearing what I'm saying. Right. Some of y'all walking away, but you notice the Holy Bible. Some of y'all walking away only because you feel pressured by the lies that you were just taught. Right. Only because you know these men are going to make you leave. They're going to make. They're going to shun you for listening to the Bible. But some of y'all listening. Some of y'all listening. And guess what? Call me out if I'm lying. Come call me out. Come tell me straight, yo, you lying. Prove what you just said out of the word of God, not your own mind. Prove it. And I'm not going to show you a tablet. I'm going to show you a Bible and a verse. Come on, pastor. We want to talk to you, pastor. What is it, Jemine? Jemine, come here. We want to talk to you. We want to ask you why you're not teaching your people the word of God. Now listen to your sermon. You know some scripture. You know some scripture, Jemine. I want to know why you're not teaching your people they're the children of Israel. Right. Therefore, they must keep the laws of God. Right. Even if the entire world is not, they must. These people, all these beautiful black, uh, black brothers and sisters, they are the children of Israel. In the Bible, why are you not cleaning these communities up? Why do people go in and out your building and don't know that it's wrong to lay down with woman to woman to woman? Baby mamas is wrong. Baby daddies is wrong. God say marriage is honorable. Give me that. Yes, Hebrews chapter, Hebrews chapter uh, uh, 13. Bring it up. Hebrews chapter 13. Bring it up. Marriage is honorable. Marriage is honorable. Jemiah, don't walk back in the building. Come talk to the prophet. Right. You a prophet, come talk to the prophet. Right. Come on, come to our us. Come talk to us. Show your people that you right. Show your people that we lying to, to them. Come defend your flock. If we wrong, come defend your flock. Right. Bring your Bible, not your tablet. Right. If your tablet got a Bible on it, I'll pray. Bring that. We'll, that'll work. <laughs> we'll, we'll work with that. Bring something, though, of the word of God. Right. Come on. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible says what? Marriage is honorable in all. Now, we all know that. I, the one thing I like that you said, Jamal, or Jamal, the one thing I like that you said, brother, you said that the woman got to learn to let the man lead. That's facts. Right. Those are big facts. That's called order in the family, order in the household. Right. A lot of brothers leave because that don't exist in the household. That was one thing that you said that was facts. However, you have to teach the people the sin side of marital relations, right. which is sex. Right. Watch this. Marriage is honorable and all. Marriage, not baby mama, not trying the product out before you marry it, not laying down to see how it feels first. Sisters talking about how big is you first. All of that is not honorable. And it's not supposed to be secret either. Pastor, you're supposed to be finding out the sins of your congregation and correcting the people. Right. Thus right. saith the Lord God. That's how we fix our communities. That's how we stop all these men being emotionally raised by women in single parent households. Read. Marriage is honorable and all. Come on. And the bed undefiled. That bed. That married bed. That brother has went to the court, got marriage license, married that sister. That sex is undefiled. That is not against God. That is a that is approved by God. Marriage first. Uh, uh, marry before you carry is approved by God. Right. Come on. But whoremongers and adulterers, but whoremongers, brothers who love women that don't care about marriage. Come on. And adulterers and adulterous sisters that don't care about husband. They just want to get they just want to get their rocks off. Brothers just want to get their rocks off. What's gonna happen to them? God will judge. God gonna judge you. God gonna judge you. How you get judged? Most of our black men are killed, murdered by another black man. Why? Because you mess with his girl. Right. You mess with his girl, you mess with his baby mama. That's why more that's why our communities are so full of black on black crime. That's why our communities are so full of baby mamas, baby daddies, because you don't know to honor marriage, right. like the Lord said. You don't know. And then your pastors, they'll read the Bible, they'll see it, but they ain't going to tell you that. You know why? Because they know it's a lot of black mothers that don't want to deal with no instruction from a man. Right. So that tithing offer, that tithing money is going to walk right up out the door with them. Once you offend them and tell them, 
Go and take your Bible. Stop laying down with man to man to man. Stop laying down with man. God says that that's a whore in the Bible. Right. Stop being that way. Get married or don't lay with no man. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.